Hey, yo, y'all know that your boy's got something to say about this whole Eminem debate that's going on that Snoop started. So, fucking roll it. First things first. Rest in peace, sucker fam. If you've watched these previous rants, you know your boy done upgraded the mic. We got lavalier mics now. We getting fucking professional up in this bitch. And number two, am I walking with shoes on on my, on my own rug? Of course I am, because that's a fucking power move. Letting y'all know what's up. But obviously, big Snoop Dogg, Snoop Loop, has caused some type of controversy and some type of like polarizing stance on whether Eminem is a top 10 greatest. You know, I've been about Eminem for some time. Some might say that I'm a stan. But at the same time, your boy is a connoisseur of hip hop. So I didn't let my standness, I didn't let that blur my vision when it comes to what Snoop had to say about Eminem. And I know this shit's a couple of days old, but I don't give a fuck. I'm still gonna say what I gotta say. I'm talking about it a couple of days after the fact because I wanted to formulate my rebuttal. I wanted to formulate my thoughts before I went and spewed out some dumb shit. Cause once again, connoisseur of the game. And once again, trying to see everything from an objective eye. But because I forgot the exact wording and the exact quote from Snoop, let's go ahead and refresh and see what this man said. Ah, Snoop a loop. Goddamn, man, I'm kind of disappointed, but you're entitled to your own opinion, no matter how wrong it may be. Now Snoop Dogg said, quote, Eminem, exclamation mark, the great white hope. Right out the gate, bringing up his race is the first thing that you say about him automatically invalidates your opinion to some degree. Because if someone spit with these bars in the way that Eminem spits, if you, if you had a blind eye to race, you would undoubtedly say that he's one of the coldest dudes to ever pick up a pen and write with technical skill and prowess that Eminem has. His writing capability, his rhymes, his wordplay, his grasp on the English language, Language, his hooks, everything about the man, he's an undeniable juggernaut. So the fact that you're bringing up race before you even say your fucking opinion about him kind of invalidates the point. But I digress because we haven't even gotten into the quote yet. Eminem, the great white hope. White rappers had zero respect in rap. Had before Eminem. Let's keep that one thou wow. Obviously, we all know that. So because you say that, that automatically means that Eminem had to start from the bottom and fight through those stereotypes to rise into the occasion and rise to the level that he did. He had to fight through the fact that white dudes had no respect in the game. And how did he fight that? With his mother fucking pen. Next, Dr. Dre has probably put Eminem in the position that he would be considered one of the top 10 rappers ever. I don't think so, but the game thinks, to, could, thinks that he might be top 10 lyricist and everything that comes with it. That's just because he's with Dr. Dre. All right, that's a valid point because Dr. Dre is a motherfucking marketing genius. Dr. Dre saw a spotlight. Dr. Dre saw something within this man that he was like, we can market this dude and he could be the greatest lyricist lyricists of all time. Having said that, just because you got Dr. Dre's backing doesn't mean that you don't just have to, that you can just let like mosey your way into the game and be considered the greatest ever. Dr. Dre got a lot of eyes on Eminem and Eminem fucking delivered. You cannot deny the fact that from 1999 to 2004, Eminem was the hottest rapper in the game because Dr. Dre gave him the chance and because his pin game was vicious and because the things that he was talking about were resonating with millions and millions of people, that is what puts Eminem at, at, at the top of people's lyrical, at the top of people's lyrical list. Not because Dr. Dre backed him. Dr. Dre gave him the platform and he still had to shine on his own. Are you going to sit there, Snoop Dogg, and tell me that the notorious B.I.G. is not at the level that he's at? It's actually Puff Daddy? That that the reason why notorious B.I.G. Is, is up there on the top 10 list of basically everybody? So you can't honestly sit there and tell me that Eminem is only as famous as he is is because Dr. Dre's marketing capability, and then in the other hand, go and turn and say Notorious B.I.G. is only on the top 10 list because of his sheer talent and raw skill with the pen. Because if you're giving, if you're if you're associating Eminem's Eminem's success to Dr. Dre, then you gotta also invalidate Notorious B.I.G. and say that he was only famous and as popular as he was because Puff Daddy put him on. Buzz is only one part of the equation. The buzz is there, but while you have all eyes on you, like Tupac said you gotta fucking deliver and Eminem delivered for at least eight years in a row 
And then next, of course, because Snoop Dogg is an old head, and respectfully so, Snoop Dogg is also one of the greatest rappers to ever come in and do the damn thing on the mic, especially doggy style. Having said that, like I said, he's an old head, so of course he's gonna say that people in the 80s, Eminem had no chance with the pen against. This is his next quote. There's some word that I can't say in the 80s that he couldn't fuck with. Snoop Dogg continued, like Rakim, like Big Daddy Kane, like KRS-One, like LL Cool J, like Ice Cube. And you know, that's, that's completely understandable. Those are legends in the game who also had a vicious fucking pen. But I think Snoop Dogg in this moment is blinded in the fact that he is an 80, he grew up in the 80s and was influenced by 80s rappers. 100% some of these rappers on this list, especially Rakim, especially Daddy Kane and KRS-One, some of these rappers on this list had a pen game that was up to par. But some of these rappers on this list, you can't stand there and objectively tell me that these artists are better than Eminem in the technical skill of being able to write rap and I think that Snoop Dogg is blinded by the by the generation that he grew up in because he idolizes these men because they're the ones that made him want to pick up the pen and he owes his entire career to the fact that these men had inspired him in that way and that's understandable my parents say that 80s music is the greatest generation of all time because they grew up in the 80s and of course the next generation is not gonna agree with them I think that because Snoop Dogg idolizes these men because they're the ones that provided direct inspiration for him. I think he's got blinders on when it comes to the good old days and the fact that he's not looking with an objective eye. Because with an objective eye, not even just Eminem, rap as a genre has gotten so much more technically advanced. Rhymes are more technically advanced. Eminem, Andre 3000, Royce the 5'9", fucking Kendrick Lamar. In the 80s it was great. It was all experimental and all that and they were, and they were trying to find what rap could be but just because they were pioneers in the game that doesn't mean that they're the best rappers in the game and like I said Nima I'm looking at this with an objective eye all these men that this this man just listed I legitimately listen to and I have their albums in my Apple music slick Rick is one of if not the best storyteller of all time but I can't honestly sit there and say that that these 80s rappers have more skill sets with the pen than current modern day rappers Rappers, that's just not the way the world works. As time goes on, people hone their craft. They get better at what they do. Rap gets more expansive. And when rap expands, the skill set that comes with the expansion expands with it. And like I said, I'm not saying that Snoop Dogg's you know, position is wrong. I'm not saying that his top 10 list, which we are about to get to, is wrong. I'm just saying that he's looking at it with blinders on. He's not seen the entire game. And part of the reason that those blinders on are because of Eminem's skin color, and that's a 100% illegitimate reason to not say he's the best in the game. He's basically saying that Eminem is a guest in the house of hip hop, just like the, well, forgot his fucking name, just like he said, but he's saying it in like a roundabout way. He's not getting it straight to the point. Now let's get on to this top 10 list real quick, and I have one response for this top 10 list. This is Snoop Dogg's top 10 list right here. I like the way you do that right there. My top 10 MCs of all time. Time. Mine's not yours. Slick Rick, good one. Ice Cube, also respectable. LL Cool J, I would have to disagree. KRS One, all right, he's up there because of his pioneer status, I'll give you that. Rakim, 100% should be on everybody's at least top 20. But if you put him in your top 10, 100% understandable. Run from Run DMC, all right, another pioneer, another someone who broke the mold when it came when it comes to 80s rap. D from DMC, all right. Big Daddy Kane, solid. Ice T, I don't know about that one. And then, this is the one that pissed me off. Too Short? You're putting fucking Too Short on your top 10? I mean, I understand he's revolutionary and I understand that he was like, he's, he's, he became a certain sound that Southern California was about. And I know that Snoop Dogg, I know that you're from California, but pff, come on dog. This is the one where I was like, this motherfucker's definitely looking at this with blinders on. If we were talking about maybe fucking top 10 lists from a certain specific era or a top 10 regional list from people out of LA, from people out of California, all right. I'll give you that. But too short on a great, on a fucking goat list, you know? 
So that list, obviously it's his own list, but like I said, I don't think he's looking at it with an objective eye. And that's part of the problem with what he said about Eminem. Because if you look at this list, the only thing that I can think of as to why all these gentlemen are on this list is because they were icons in the rap game. They were pioneers when rap was just starting to find its own sound. They helped that sound be pushed forward. LL Cool J finally made raps that were for ladies. Slick Rick, finally someone came along who could potentially go down as the greatest storyteller of all time. Too Short obviously has a very unique sound that's specific to Too Short and no one else has been able to copy or even emulate because it's, it's unique to Too Short. So that's dope in its own right. But if you're gonna tell me that these men are on your top 10 list because of their pioneer status, because of their reach, because of their influence on the rap game, that automatically invalidates your opinion on Eminem. And I say that with the utmost respect because I know, I know that they fucking made rap what it is today. But the only reason that rap is even as big as it is today, rap finally a couple years ago overtook rock and roll as the biggest genre in the world. And the only reason, 100%, the only reason statistically, I don't know about statistically, but the only reason is because of Eminem and because of Dr. Dre's vision to sign Eminem because he knew what he had in that signing. Eminem brought rap to an entirely new audience. Eminem connected on a deep soul psychological level with his new audience, with rap's new audience, which is why he was the juggernaut that he was in the early 2000s. He was a symbol for rebellion. He was a symbol doing whatever the fuck I want. He was a symbol for being an American and protecting your first amendment right to free speech. He had all that shit. And all of the white people that now became rap fans because of Eminem, that allowed them to say, oh, Eminem's talking about all these other people in the game. How about I do some research and research, research and fucking see why Eminem is hyping these dudes up and that expanded their rap catalog. Now I'm not saying Eminem is fucking Jesus of rap. All I'm saying, if you're basing your top 10 list based off of pen, based off of relevancy, based off of iconic status, based off of influence in the game, Eminem should 100% be in your top 10 regardless if you like the dude or not. And like Forrest Gump said at the speech in front of the Washington Memorial, and that's all I got to say about that.